Christine, you are here to jot down our to-do list. After school today, can you come over to do my homework? Help me with my homework, Alex. Yes. Okay. Right there. And my leg hurts a little, so can you walk my dogs too? Yes. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> my uncle's birthday was last week. Would you mind calling me and saying happy belated birthday? Yes. She left in class. <laughs> and can you have a good day for me today? jumping jacks for the exercise. Yes. <laughs> this would be it. Thank okay. you. Okay. Basically, what will you do today for you? I'll help you with your homework, walk the dogs, call your uncle for his birthday, tie your shoe, have a good day, and do To Judy Pearson with the Think Big Revolution, there are three reasons why you should say yes to everything. One reason is it loosens the grip of fear and dread it has over you. For example, if you're afraid to go on an airplane, but you rather fly than drive for 13 hours, you say yes anyway because you don't want to drive, and that it then releases the negative energy you always had about your fear. Also, as you learn to say yes to everything, you begin to see unlimited possibilities and doors begin to open and it's also a good leadership quality. Saying yes also creates an incredible calmness, peace of mind, and an interpersonal happiness. You feel that you made a difference in somebody's life. And you no longer judge others based on their behavior, but embrace with confidence whatever is wrong or out of balance with taking appropriate actions to change it. However, as you begin to say no to many situations, you will realize it actually re relieves stress and burdens it, that could have been avoided. Beginning to say no. When you say no, it isn't to be selfish. By saying no to new commitments, you're honoring your current obligations and making sure that you'll be able to devote time to, to, the, to those obligations. When you say no honestly and with confidence, it has an impact on the person asking you for your assistance or attention. It's a part of being assertive. Low self-esteem comes from saying yes all the time because you feel others are taking advantage of you. You then begin to get guilt, feel guilty because once you say no, you are beginning to reject others as you realize your needs are important as well. Saying no helps boost 
self-esteem. It gives priority to the things in your life that are important, and it gives power to you by not letting other people take advantage of you or push you around. It helps gain control over your life. Saying no isn't easy, although it's just a two-letter word, no is very powerful. However, there is a such thing as an unassertive no. That's followed by weak excuses. If you lack confidence, you may think you need to support your answer with many reasons to convince the other person why you cannot help them. Be sure the no isn't aggressive. This can cause an attack on the other person and possibly lose you a friend. Take time to think over your answer, and it's okay you don't have to answer immediately or right away. You can take up to a day to sleep on it and come back to the person with your answer. Saying no is a stress reliever because it limits how much you put onto your plate. It, as you begin to say no more and more, it lessens the number of requests that come to you and it adds more to your yourself it adds more time to yourself and it opens doors for others to step up although they may not do it the way you get it done they'll they'll get it done um, they'll find a way to get it done if they really need it learn to say no in many si learn to say no in situations where no can be difficult where no could possibly get you fired say no anyway because it could lead to greater opportunities.